this video, I'm just going to recap uh, what we talked about earlier. The, the model's pretty much done. Um, I know I, I said goodbye to you guys, but um, obviously there are some parts that are on the, the side of the train that you know may come onto this side. You can you can copy them, you know, clone them to the other side, or you can do more research. I do believe that the train is asymmetric, so um, some of these parts aren't found on the other side. You can definitely look into that a little bit more. Um, Another thing is between the wheels, there should be axles. So it's a simple cylinder, maybe a little box configuration. I'm confident you guys can do that on your own. Um, you know, the model is pretty much done, but there's some little stuff to be done. Also remember that you have your layers. Um, and I would go through before handing this file off to someone, you know, make sure that your layers are in order. Some of the newer parts you might not have put on the right layer. So um, definitely uh, isolate layers and also create selection sets, which was when we selected a bunch of parts and we typed in a name so that there would be selection so, uh, sets up top. Uh, so that's important to remember. I want to show you guys a quick render. Let me hide this layer manager. Um, and right here, that's what the model looks like. I think it's pretty impressive to see. You know, it's a pretty good model. It doesn't have texture on it yet. We put a, some good texture and, and uh, surfaces and materials on this and it would look fantastic. Um, no doubt about it. So uh, I just wanted to go over those things. I didn't. I think I forgot to mention some of that stuff in the last video. Um, and again, thank you for for viewing, and I really appreciate you know everybody checking this out. Thanks. Bye.